So lads, the point guard position is pretty stacked in my team. And if you're looking for the best of the best, you can get Gilbert Arenas right now. There are very few people that have got him, but it's possible to get him. So in this video, we're going to be doing a tier list. We're going to be ranking them from S tier all the way down to worthless tier. So we're going to be starting off at S tier, which for me is like the best of the best. We're going to have five players in S tier. And considering the fact we've got like 35 players here in five tiers, it's going to be like seven or eight in the all the other tiers. But lads, the point guard position is very much a top heavy position. So I wasn't going to put like, for example, I'm trying to even think of guys that I'm not even going to be putting there. Um, like Trey Young, Garland, because I mean, I don't really see too many people running those guys. So yeah, we have got this tier list right here now, lads. So let's make myself a little bit smaller. Let's get me in the corner and let's start off with BJ Armstrong. So for BJ Armstrong, I'm going to put him in usual but mess. So his release is fine. Perfectly fine. A little bit undersized. Plays no defense whatsoever. Like none in the slightest. So I think putting him in any tier other than this would just be... Like I just can't really do that. But I do think that's his tier. I'm putting Dame in like good. So Dame has a big, big problem, lads. And the problem with Dame Lillard is realistically that he's just... He just can't really do anything except shoot the ball. So the guy can't move. And that is a big, big issue when it comes to Lillard. Is that he's he has this weird burst where he like takes a step and then stands up and slows down. He obviously, when he was getting mocap, took the damn piss. He obviously crossed over, took one step, and then said, you know what, I'm not running anymore. Um, or he did his mocap while injured, which is probably more likely what happened. And he just doesn't move like a point guard should move. So he's going to go with good tier. Good tier as well is going Darren Williams. So Darren Williams has got something. You have to use him in a certain way. And I hate being one of those guys that is like, oh, you need to know how to use him about cards. But like, if you were on Darren Williams like he's a Derrick Rose, he's going to suck. And this isn't one of the situations where he's this god tier card if you know how to use him. If you know how to use him, he's good because he comes with Hot Floor General and Hot Nightmare. And with those badges, what you basically get with your um, Darren Williams, you're getting a guy that's going to move really, really well on the offensive end in terms of like just getting into the paint. He's, his jumper is okay. And his just ability, if you were on a pick and popper and you can pull up from mid with him, he's got a really nice midi. And if you can start swinging and hitting the popper, he actually is a really, really effective player because of a half dimer. Then we got Darren or DeMar or... He's done for Mitchell, lads. Gee, I'm, I'm struggling right here. I'm struggling. But um, Donovan Mitchell is going to go into S tier. And the reason why Donovan Mitchell is going to go into S tier is that you can make a strong argument he's the best point guard in the game. So the only issue with him is that, for me, he gets eaten alive by Sean Livingston. So if you are coming up against... If you are coming up against Sean Livingston with him, I would say, yeah... Sean Livingston's going to eat him alive. But Sean Livingston's like the only player that I would say that about him with. He is an absolutely elite, and I mean elite player in this game. Maybe the best. Kyrie Irving, he's the best and good. The problem with Kyrie is that he just can't, he can't dunk. Like his movement's good. It's just the current meta, he doesn't play defense, he doesn't dunk. He shoots, I get that, but like he doesn't even shoot as well as a Donovan Mitchell shoots. So for me, I'm like, look, if you're if you're gonna want to use a small point guard, Kyrie should not be that guy. And he's definitely a lot better than Dame, but he's still gonna go into good. Bibby is in that good tier as well. You know, I'm gonna move Darren Williams down because Darren Williams is the worst of these three. Um, Bibby is in good tier. Bibby is perfectly fine again. I wouldn't go and complete Dom for him, but like, it's not like he's a bad card by any means. And it's the exact same with... I'm actually going to put Ja, ja in good as well. Like, Ja... I know he's a starter card, but, like... we Can we all just say it? Like, starter Ja is good. Like, just the way the game's played, starter Ja is actually a card that is... More than good enough to be used in any setting. So, for me, I'm like... Yeah, just use... Just use starter job here on a budget. Dyson is going top. Dyson's going S. 
Dyson Daniels is an S tier point guard and I don't care what anyone says about it lads. Dyson Daniels is genuinely that dude. So the big thing when it comes to Dyson is just, you're like, what? Well, he is the best defensive point guard in the game. And he's the only defensive point guard that really allows, that can guard Sean Livingston. And you might be saying, why do I keep talking about Sean Livingston? If you guys have watched me play with the Postman lineup, Sean Livingston is, if you're running a D-Rose or a Donovan Mitchell, Livingston's scoring every time on you. Dyson Daniels is like the one point guard in his game that can guard Livingston. So for that reason, he's going to go into S. Ivy, I think Ivy belongs in elite. Ivy's definitely better than a Kyrie and a Dame. It's just no handles for days. There are a couple of flaws with Jade and Ivy that I'm like, Look, I wish, I wish I could hype you up as an S tier player, but I just can't. I honestly just can't. He's really good though. Iverson, best and good. Like the only issue with me with Iverson is that he's just, he's just a good player. Um, he's too undersized. The way the game is right now, not only can he not live with a Sean Livingston, he'll get posted up by d -Rose. Iverson has got some good things about him. He's got some not so good things about him. Um, Baron Davis is going to go ahead of Iverson, but still in. We move Ivy down one as well. I need to find someone to put in that elite tier. Like. And we've only got five in S tier. I'm going to move Dice. I'll move Dyson down. And I'm going to give Marcus Smart a spot in elite as well. No, uh, Dyson's better than Marcus. Dyson's staying up. This is a card that I'm going to put in Elite, and I don't care if people are like, he runs the comp game. I couldn't give a damn. I've seen him in so many squads. I've never played someone who's good with this guy. It's Ja. And I've heard a lot of people are absolutely chick with Ja. And that's fine. If you are chick with Ja Morant, keep using Ja Morant. Don't let me tell you otherwise. But he's like 500k, and for me, he's just another guy. He's just another dude, and for this price, I'm like, am I like judging by his price as much as anything? Yeah, but he is in elite. Uh, I'm also putting Brandon Jennings. I'm putting Brandon Jennings in good because he just doesn't suit this meta. If this was last year, we'd be looking at Brandon Jennings in like S tier, but I'm gonna put him in good. He's better than Iverson. Um. But yeah, that's about it. The best dunker in the game is going to S tier to Derrick Rose. So D Rose is just, he's something special. D Rose is something special. As far as point guards go in this game, there is nobody that plays anything like Derrick Rose. There's nobody that's going to be as effective as Derrick Rose in terms of dunking the ball. There's nobody that's going to be as good a rim runner, which is the meta as D Rose. He is an immaculate player. And look, because he's available right now, I have to put Gilbert in here in S tier as well. I have to put Gilbert in that top tier because he's like a better version of a He's like Derek Rose will off range extender. Um, he's easily one of the top point guards in this game. He, he probably is the best point guard in this game. Again, I wouldn't go for his division by any means. What's the division? Like Jameson. I don't even know. It's like Jameson, Corver, and those guys. I just think this is it's like a it's a pointless division to run with. But still. Still, I just don't think he's a bad card by any means. Gilbert's really freaking good. Gilbert genuinely, genuinely is a is a really good card. So if you have Gilbert Arenas right now, because he is like physically possible to get, I have to put him on this tier list. He's getting one of my top five spots. Here's the effectiveness. And a card that's not getting one of my top five spots is Jason Kidd. Like, don't get me wrong. I like Jason Kidd. I actually think this card is really, really good. The only, uh, the only thing I am going to say about him is that he can't dunk. And in this type of meta, I know he is like, he is like my perfect point guard. He's, he's not even my perfect point guard. He's like one of my perfect point guards. Um, he's a card that was is super, super effective for the way that I play the game. If you need just a pure cone, he's going to be a fantastic. If you run and you've got a shooting guard beside him, he's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, I can run, but he is just better Marcus Smart. Jeremy Lin's going into that elite player tier as well. Sure, he's got that high interior that people like. Higher, higher interior. He still gets posted up every single time by... By what's his name? By Sean Livingston. Then we got Jerry West. 
Look, he's not worthless. But he has this issue where he can't burst in any way. And, like, if you can't burst as a point guard and your job is to create, like, what the hell are you doing? I am sorry. Like, the job of a point guard is to be able to create and he can't create. Stockton is going to go, like, here in good. Stockton has just got that steal. His ability to steal the ball is something that not a lot of other point guards have. I'm telling you, lads. Stockton's just ability to just get in these like or to steal the pluck ball handlers is absolutely fantastic. Mark Price. I mean, I get it, he can shoot, but like doesn't do anything else. So I gotta put him in usable, but meh. Ah, oh, now we finally got our worthless card. Michael Adams sucks. Dude's 5'10. Dude's 5'10 and does nothing. Like, he legitimately does nothing well. And last year, at least, he got like 40 something silveries. This car is just a bomb. He got, I think he had Ray Allen last year, basis as well last year. Otis, usable, but meh. Otis is fine. Like, he is completely fine. He's not a player that I would, like, go out of my way to ever use. But, like, if you're asking me rating on a scale of, like, 1 to 10, like, would I you? He's like a five, but it's like, would I ever use him? If I had to, sure. I'm actually putting Rondo in. I'll put Rondo in usable, but meh, because he just can't shoot. Like, Rondo is like, imagine if John Stockton couldn't shoot. And I mean, shooting's very damn important, because, you know, the purpose of basketball is putting the ball in the basket. And, like, Rondo can't dunk either. He just can't score. Like, he's he literally makes John Stockton look way better. Like, Rondo's the worst player in this tier. Westbrook is such a tough exclusion from my top tier of point guards. He is such a tough exclusion. So for me, it's like it's between Westbrook and like you can you could argue like Dyson probably belongs. Like you could definitely argue that Dyson um, belongs in that top tier. But for me, like it's between Westbrook and Curry. I think Curry. You know what, screw it, Westbrook, you're going in. As much as I love Steph Curry, like, and I read, like, trust me, I think Steph Curry is one of the most dangerous players in the game. I think, in general, we're looking at Westbrook offering a bit more. Livingston is in elite. Like, it all depends. He's Livingston's my favorite point guard in the game. Like, Livingston plays over Derrick Rose and Donovan Mitchell for me. But, Sean Livingston requires you to play a very specific style of 2K. And that specific style of 2K involves you posting up with Sean Livingston. And if you are somebody that wants your point guard to like do anything other than post up, then he is a absolute trash can. He can hit wide, he can shoot wide open. Like if somebody helps off and he's wide open, he shoots at a really high rate because he's got that Draymond release with such a high green window. But, like, he's not good at anything other than posting up. It's just that at the one thing he's good at, he's the single best player in the game at it. So he's going to go into elite. Steph Curry's. I'm actually going to put this Steph in good, this Steph in low elite, and this Steph in high good. Because he's not... There's nothing really that Steph Curry does wrong. Like, even this... Even the, like, token one is still good. Like... I don't like the token. I don't like using the token one over, for example, a Jamarant. Like if I'm on a budget, I wouldn't really use that token staff. I would still use like if I was running a budget squad, I would still to this day run Jamarant. But still, I think he's. I still think he's more than capable to be used in this game. And I think a lot of people are sleeping on the token reward one. Just because he's a token reward. I still, if you're asking me to, again to rate out of 10, I'd still give him like a a solid like 5. Or a solid like 6 out of 10. Whereas this is kind of what I'd say around this tier. Steve Francis is a card that a lot of people were hyped about early. And I just think he's not as good as Westbrook or Rose. And for that reason, I think he's in that elite tier. He is definitely in that category of elite players, but. That's where, he's, that's where he's going. Nash is going high good. Nash is not a bad player. Like, 
for everyone being like super super low on Nash, he's not bad. He's just not great. He's just there. Like if you're looking to get worthy, Nash is more than competent, but that's about it. And Tim Hardaway. Man, is he even better than BJ Armstrong? I actually used him on an account and he was a scrub. I feel bad for saying this, but I've used him and he was a bum. He genuinely, genuinely was a bum. Um, he doesn't offer anything. And I mean anything of note. And I think that it's just a, genuinely is a case of him just not... Him being maybe the worst of all the token cards. Like there are a lot of good trophy case cards. He's not one of them. Then we've got Ty Lawson getting the worthless. And you know what, lads? <laughs> Get into worthless Trey Young. Trey Young is so bad. Like, he shouldn't be nearly as bad as he is. He's just absolutely awful. Like, we're looking at a guy who you're thinking, you know what? Trey Young should be able to cook because he's out here with the Trey escape. He's out here with some positives. No, man, this is a bum. This card is genuinely a bum. So anyway, yeah, I'm actually going to try even out the tiers. So I'm going to move two guys down from this tier. I'm move two guys down from this tier to keep it at five. Because again, we do like symmetry on this channel. So going down from this tier is Rondo. And Birdsong. I don't even mind Birdsong. And going down from this tier right here is... I have to bring down Steph, I guess. You know, I don't mind him. And Ja, maybe? I think Ja. I think Ja might actually have to lose a spot. Which is a pity because I really like Ja. Like, I really, really like Ja. So is Ja going to lose it? Or, you know what, baby? Baby, you got him. So, yeah, this is. We have everyone kind of in the one tier. We are like one single player. It's impossible to have a symmetrical tier list, but we are as close as humanly possible to symmetry. And we've got our five point guards being Gilbert, Donovan Mitchell, Dyson, Daniels, Derek Rose, and Westbrook. Curry and Curry and Kid extremely close to being in top tier. I still think a lot of the guys are better than Ja. Um, and then the worthless tier, all of these guys are scrubs. So anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.